hi everyone and welcome back i am just grabbing a quick half hour now to film a couple of videos because tommy has just taken rue off to get both of their haircuts and um, before we go to barcelona next week which it seems a bit strange because rupert's not going because we're going on a holiday but his is getting really really quite long both mine and tom's hair grow so quickly and rupert's is so thick and it grows so fast so it's just a bit at the front sometimes it gets really really long so he's just going to have it trimmed um Today's video is a bit random. I was sat downstairs thinking what I could film for you all because I feel like January is such a weird time and I'm not really one for talking about New Year's resolutions or goals for the year or reflections or anything like that. I just kind of get on with the new year if that makes sense. Um, I have set myself one goal which is to read more but that's it. So I thought rather than going into all of that kind of stuff I would just do a normal video. So I filmed a couple already but this one today is going to be a really random collection of stuff that I've recently bought for the house that I love. I thought I did film a home sense haul when I went last time and my camera cut out halfway through and I only realised after I'd finished filming it and put everything away and then went to edit it a week later. So there's some stuff from that haul in this video and it's a real mixture of stuff. I've been around and gathered up bits that I love having around the house and some of them are really weird just like kitchen utensils and some of them are little cutesy things. I can do more of these if this is the kind of thing that you like. I can do kind of more focused things on like different spaces and things like that interior wise um, but then I also thought it might be a good idea to do kind of like a focus on top 10 things that I like in Rupert's room or like five things that I bought from this shop that I'd recommend or something like that. So that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to kick the, kick the, kick the ball, get going. I'm going to get going. And I'm going to do it in no particular order because it is all a bit random. So I'm going to kick off, that's what I was looking for before, kick off with one of my favourite, most recent purchases. And this is from Urban Outfitters. And it is a storage jar. I have Googled everything that I've got here to make sure that they still sell everything. There are a couple of things out of stock, but they might come back in stock or you might find similar things elsewhere. But the majority of this stuff is still available. So this I bought as a Christmas present as well for my sister-in-law and I just, it's gorgeous. So it's got kind of like full moons and half moons on it. I'm hoping it's not washing it out on the camera. I think this was about 16 pounds and it's a really nice size jar. I've not put anything in this yet. I just had it sat there um, not knowing really what to do with it, but I love this. Next is a little thing from Home Bargains and this is a silicone muffin tray. Now I, Muffin trays are the bane of my life, honestly, I swear. Anytime I ever cook anything, the muffin tray goes wrong. But then I found these silicone ones and they've changed my life, honestly, in the kitchen. If I bake Rupert any muffins or anything, I literally pour the batter straight in here and the muffin just, literally, you can just pop it out. Um, because for him, I don't really bother with bun cases or anything like that. You can pop them in the dishwasher, they're so easy to clean. Um, I would never go back now to the traditional muffin trays and I've just bought some mini ones of these off Amazon as well because sometimes I find that these are a little bit big for him if I just want a little snacky thing so I'm going to make him some banana and blueberry muffins tomorrow in the little mini silicone muffin tray and um, these are about three £2.49 to £3 from Home Bargains and they still have them in there I bought some of those as a little Christmas present as well these next few bits were actually Christmas presents from Thomas, so I'll do the little bits and pieces first. He bought me three little wooden animals, which are from East of India. Now, I buy quite a lot of stuff from East of India, especially as gifts, and I always use the same website. It's called Temptation Gifts. I'll link everything down below. But he bought me three little wooden animals. So I've got a little giraffe, which looks like this. This might be not up any of your street, but I love things like this. And I have a thing downstairs, um, I've posted about it on Instagram before and it's called a prince's tray and it's on the wall and it's got lots of little squares and um, to hold little trinkets and that's where I've housed these so we've got a little zebra I'm hoping that you can see these I'll go really old school and then this little bear which is so cute they're those bits I thought they would be nice for like a nursery as well if any of you are um, in the need of anything like that that they would look nice there and not just for a 30 year old woman to stick on a wall in a front room um, Next thing is from Oliver Bonus. This is a Christmas present as well And this is actually really difficult to show you. I've got fingerprints all over it now But this was from Oliver Bonus and it is a gold starry dish and um, this is still available online I checked and this was so nice to have out around Christmas trap time after I got it as a present I 
filled this with like celebrations and Christmas chocolates and we've just kind of got rid of the last dregs of things, all the ones that are left at the bottom that nobody likes. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this now, I might pop it in our bedroom or what I'm going to put in it or whether I'm just going to leave it empty but I just thought it was nice um, and I'll definitely use it at Christmas time, probably for chocolates again because it worked really nicely for that. This little pot was from Tiger and when Tommy and I were in I think we were in Devon, we went into this really nice cafe and they used these to pop in the sugar and things like that. And it was only a couple of pounds and Tiger is a bit hit and miss whether what with what they're gonna have in and what they're not gonna have in. I've seen these in there quite regularly and I've no, not put anything in mine yet. I bought one for my mother-in-law and I've seen that she's put little bits of sea glass in that she's collected off the beach in hers. Not sure what I'll use mine for, but I thought I would show you because the spoon is so cute and I don't know, it could come in handy at some point I'm sure. This is the most recent thing that I've got and it is from a brand on that I found through Instagram called Hey Kiddo Studio I think. I will link the website but basically Marty who owns the store and it's her business she makes wire words and wall hangings and then she covers them in I want to say wool like a knitted fabric um, you will see what I mean when I show you, but you can basically choose any word, any colour of the wall that she's got. Um, she does shapes like love hearts, stars, lightning bolts. And I went for this one for Rupert. So this shade, it was out of stock for ages and it just came back in. I think it's anthracite that, that we have. And I got the word adventure, which I don't know how easy that will be to show up on camera, but I just thought like on the wall in his nursery, how can I show you? Not very well. I just thought on the wall in his room or like on some of his shelves it would look really really good so um, I wanted to share that with you and that's just a little small independent business as well um, that I found on Instagram and I love this and so much of her stuff is amazing, all of her stuff is amazing. This is something that lives in our kitchen, I got this off Amazon and it is a little wooden stand. This I have on the kitchen top and it's just a bit of extra storage but it also adds a bit of colour and texture. Our kitchen is basically black, white and grey. We've got a duck egg blue fridge, a black oven and the tiles are really light and the tiles on the wall are white. We have kind of like marble effect worktops and I like to introduce different kind of colours and woods and things like that. So all of our chopping boards are, all of our chopping boards are wood like this and it just adds a little bit of something to kind of break up the black, white and grey. Um, and this basically, normally on here, um, I keep my salt, like the salt tub, and then any bits and pieces that we're using up. So if I've used like half a lemon for something, I'll put it on here. And then underneath this, we normally have our eggs. Um, just little bits and pieces, but it's really handy and it's just really nice, easy to put together. It just comes with these little bits that you stick through to keep the handles in place. I can't remember how much this was, but I don't think it was that expensive. And they do them in a few different sizes as well. Um, that's also something that's nice to be used if we're kind of hosting and we have not used it for that yet. But um, I feel like if we put like, I mean, I could have used it at Christmas to put pate and bread on and kind of carry it through. It's like an extra something, something. Anyway, that's that. I do love that shelf. But I also get a lot of comments about it when people come around and see it for the first time. This is really random. And when I found this, I was with Tom's mum in HomeSense. It was about two pounds. And she was like, what's that, a pooper scooper? And when I explained to her what it was, she went and got herself one. And I'm just showing you because I know HomeSense is a bit hit and miss what's current stock and things like that. But if you want to go in there and keep your eye out, it is a ginormous spatula. So, you know when you're cooking like chips or, I don't know, think of something healthy. Um, like something that you're trying to get out of a tray like roasted vegetables not chips um and you need like a big surface area and i always found with like a fish slice and stuff like that it would take me forever to get that's an exaggeration it's a bit of a princess product and you don't really need a massive spatula but it makes the job so much easier and it was a couple of pounds and now i literally go one scoop i've got everything on the plate and it's great for lasagna as well i use it to kind of like cut into our lasagna and then pick up a piece and I imagine it's good for like hot pots and pies. The um, limits are endless with this, honestly. The, the opportunities, of, I don't know. You could use this for a lot. This next item was a Christmas present that Tommy got for Christmas. This was from Anthropology, but we got it from John Lewis. 
this is out of stock at the moment but they might bring it back in i'm not sure it's still on their website and it is this little bear spoon rest so he is black and white um i know what i just said about breaking the kitchen up but i just couldn't resist and it's so handy to have a spoon rest. We've never owned one before, but it just saves so much mess in the kitchen. And he looks super cute just sat there as well. So I thought I would share that with you. I've just got a few things left, mostly from HomeSense. One thing isn't. The first thing that isn't from HomeSense is from the shop called Sostron Green. And I'm sure that I've said that wrong. But basically, I will link them down below so that you can get to the website. My friend introduced me to this brand in Altrincham. She asked me to go over for the day and she said, you need to come over and see the shop. You'll love it. And I did everything in there. I think it's, it's a Nordic or a Danish brand, maybe Swedish. I'm not sure. But their stuff is amazing and it's so, so cheap as well. And I bought a couple of these mugs, which remind me of mugs that like my Nana and Granad used to have. They've got a little lip and then a really cute, just little pattern on them. And I got two of these. So me and Tom quite often come up to bed with a cup of tea in the same matching mug. We both really like them. And I think these were like £2.30. They have so many gorgeous things in there. Like the kids toys and the wooden, wooden toys are amazing. I know there's one in Manchester and one in Chester. I'm not sure where else, but keep an eye out you can't buy them online just yet but the shops are gorgeous the everything about it i love it I'm already planning my next trip i bought so much stuff for rupert from there a few things from home sets i recently bought this bowl was just a few pounds and i just thought it was a nice size and tom's mom said she could imagine can you tell that i do most of my shopping with tom's mom said that she could imagine rupert eating his porridge out of this when he's a bit older which i thought was cute but i just thought it was a nice little bowl little cereal bowl and then Last but not least, two pans that I bought Thomas for Christmas, actually. They weren't very expensive and they had quite a lot of these in home sense. So I feel like you might, if you're in the market for new pans, uh, be lucky and spot them in there. The by, This one is by the brand Hort Cuisine and it's this kind of bluey colour which matches the fridge. The handles on these are so soft. I honestly can't describe what they feel like but they're so nice to cook with so we use this like i used this this morning to cook we put some french toast for his breakfast and just for like little bits and pieces you don't need me to tell you what to use pans for then this one i've just actually washed this so it's a little bit wet still but is a lot bigger and it's black charcoal with a little white speckle going through it we actually cooked some flatbread in this the other week and it's kind of charred some of the pan on the inside if any of you know a good way for me to get that out i don't know whether just like a little bit of lemon would work or i don't know if any of you've got any suggestions if you're pro cleaners on how to get rid of that i don't know if you can see it in there but yeah we kind of left the flatbreads in for a bit too long but um again that's by the same brand and the handle is so nice it's a really good size so that's everything that i gathered up i hope you enjoyed this real random selection of stuff i literally just gone around and like gathered a load of stuff up but i just thought it'd be quite fun and it's stuff that not that I've just bought to show you, but it's stuff that is literally in our house that we use and I can recommend because I've used them. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go and edit this now and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching.